Hello everyone, and welcome to the second Lost episode. That's what I'm calling them, that's what I'm dubbing them. Uh, they, have, they have different thumbnails using a little bit of noise to make it look a little weirder, I guess, is what I was going for. Um, but they're basically regular episodes, it's just... Uh, it's all the all the recording is, is post because I, I, I lost the, the recording for it. So if you haven't seen the last episode, and you want to know more about that, definitely go check that out. But basically, that's what's up. We got a whole team of level 19s. Today, all we do is just get a bunch of encounters in Duford. So stay tuned if you want to see that, see what we get. Feel free to skip around, because I know these are not going to be the most interesting episodes, because, of course, I'm recording everything in post, so there's a lot of great commentary. It's just me talking and yeah so i understand if you don't want to watch the entire thing i wouldn't either i barely want to re-record this part but i'm just doing it just so the video has something other than just the empty gameplay you know what i'm saying uh there wasn't any grinding between episodes or anything so you don't need to worry about that um there actually isn't any layout changes in this episode so literally like basically nothing happens <laughs> But, um, yeah, that, that's what's up, uh, we got Tater Tots here, level 19, everything, everyone's level 19, um, which, I think I looked it up, and the gym leader is gonna be, like, level 25, um, so there's, like, a huge curve, I think, and, I mean, I did make the level, um, percentage go up by 20%, so it's kind of, you know, it's kind of wild. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what ends up going on. Um, I'll talk about more about that, I guess, it's close to the end, if I remember anything. Any more details, but we're going to talk to Mr. Briny, and he's going to take us to Duford. Duford Town. Which is sick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I almost feel inclined to, like, record this in a way that I just have to do just the highlights um but I guess I'm just gonna chill here and talk um so yeah in between rec recording the last uh last episode and this one the, the posts so recording these um this commentary I did the layout changes for this one the last episode in this one um cause I kinda went halfway through and then I got real like pissed and I was like I don't wanna do these so yeah, I'm doing that now. And, uh, yeah, that made something else and stuff. I just, I just added a little bit of noise to it, and I thought that made it look more interesting, I guess. Um, cause I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know what to make the thumbnail. Because I wanted it to, to be distinguished, because it's not, like, a regular episode. Cause it's, it's, there's no intro, because it's weird, and it's just different, and it's, like, it, it's, like, basically, they're kind of skippable. Kind of episode, so I wanted to make it look visually different, so that's what I went with. But we got the rod, which means we can get a bunch of new encounters. I think like three or four. So that's what I ended up doing here. So a majority of this episode is us getting encounters. So we we pull out our rod, and we're like, let's see what we get at Route 107. Pokemon fights. Here we go. And our encounter is a Swamper, which is uber exciting, which is also going to be the intro moment, but we don't have intro moments now because this was the last episode, so um, it'd be like that. But we got the Swamper, which I'm going to I'm gonna stun score and we're just going to check balls at it. But we ended up poison pointing it. Oh yeah, this was going to be the intro, because I was like, oh, I keep poison pointing it. Oh, bleh. Yeah, you'll, you'll see. I, I, I Basically, I poison pointed like all of my encounters, which is kind of a struggle. But um, basically, since Swampert's now poisoned, it kind of put it on a timer. So we have to catch it in a certain amount of balls or it's going to die. So that that's a little bit unfortunate. We're going we're gonna to try our best here. Just chucking some balls. And we got... Ooh, we got close there. It took three times. It was so close. But, um, yeah, I'll talk a little, a little bit about what I was thinking about later. 
Or we threw this fireball because I'm like, oh, if this is a master ball, I might as well use it on a swamper. Like, that's one of the best Pokemon, and it ended up working. So I don't know if that means it was a master ball, or if that means, like, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Either I got lucky and I caught it, or it is a master ball. I don't know, but we got the swamper. And I was really struggling to, n to name it something because um, I'm not gonna name it me because it's kind of lame. And um, I don't know, I just named it Eat because I think that's funny. Um, but I've been calling my Mega Swamper in my league matches Michael Phelps because he kind he swims. So that's uh, that's like a new nickname I have pending for Mega Swamper because it kind of fits. But now we're gonna get our Old Dale encounter. A nice Old Dale. Is that Old Dale? No, this isn't Old Dale. What? This is Doofer Town. <laughs> old Dale's the, the second town you go to. I don't know what I was thinking. Honestly, hallucinating a little bit. My throat hurts, but I don't want to drink more. I don't want to get another drink because I'll have to go to the bathroom again. And also, I'm halfway through recording, so it's like I can't go get a drink now. But it's a fan fee, which is cool. Um, we're going to confuse, right? Is that what we're going to do? No. Okay, we're swapping the Sheik. And it goes for tackle, and it instantly gets poison pointed, <laughs> which puts it on another timer. So that that this was gonna be like the intro moment, it's just a compilation of us uh, poisoning the Pokemon or encounters, because that was kind of funny. But um, yeah, now you just gonna see it and me talking about it. But we caught the Fanfy first ball, which was pretty pretty exciting. And I was gonna think of a different nickname for Fanfy, because kind of Dumbo is kind of dumb and overdone, but. I couldn't think of anything else, so I just named it Dumbo. I was trying to think of a fun elephant. Um, I could have named it Tree Trunks. Oh my god, I should have named it Tree Trunks. I might, I might change its name now because I thought of that. That's, yeah, that, that's actually a better name because it is female. I might do that. Literally, like, uh, hindsight's 2020. Oh, yeah, I'll, because I think the name writer's in Slateport, so we, I can definitely go do that if I really wanted to. Yeah, we'll probably do that in the next episode. Um, because that's, that's a much better name. Because Dumbo's, for one, it's a dude. So, this is a fit, our female thing. And also, Dumbo, I've done Dumbo before, so I kind of wanted to mix it up. Um, but, let's see here. We're getting our next encounter. I think this is Route 106 or something. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But, we got a Jump Luff. Jump Luff is cool. We already have a Grass type. And Jump Off has like a decent amount of weaknesses, so the sport is with the ice, so I decided that keeping Sheik on the team is probably better. We've gonna get we've been getting a lot of luck with them um, with poisonings, so I think I think Sheik's doing is pretty good, even if it's not the best grass type, it it's definitely it does it does enough for us. And, and Jump Off only has like splash. Right now, I don't even think it has a grass type move currently or a flying type move, so it doesn't have any stab. I think it just has like Slash and tackle or something crazy. So honestly, it's probably better to have Sheik on the team until maybe later when Jump Luff might be better or we get a better Grass type in general. Or if anything happens, Sheik obviously, or we need a Flying type on our team. You know, those kinds of things. But I think our team isn't the most balanced. Like it could be better, but I think it it works, which is good. Like we we have we have options for most things. Like we don't have. It's not, hmm, how would I describe it? I guess I would say, like, we don't have major glaring weaknesses. Like, we don't have many Pokemon that are weak to the same things. But we also don't have coverage for everything. Like, I wish we had, like, more unique typings and more more types in general. Like, we, we kind of pull from a, a smaller pool with our, our mods. I guess that isn't the case. I just feel like we need some better mons. Um, and then I guess we're going to get our final encounter here in Granite Cave. Because um, these are like the encounters that we can get before we move on. I mean, I guess we could get some other ones, but I think it's better to, to not do that. Um, this gives us Flash, which is useful, but not that useful. Uh, I moved my camera like an idiot. <laughs> okay, and our encounter here is a Shuppet. I mean, we already have Mistrevious, but 
Shepard's good too. Um, and I guess I'll talk about this because I don't remember what I said in the episode. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't remember. Cause it's been a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I, I said I'm pretty sure like 20 times. Okay, so I replaced. Uh, mischievous with this Shuppet because um, I was gonna do grinding anywhere between episodes, so it's like okay. And I got the Shuppet up to like level whatever, and um, I, I like Shuppet better than Mischievous because it's gonna evolve into Bannet, and Mischievous is not gonna evolve into Miss Magius. And I think Shuppet got a few more, it, it had a better moves than Mischievous would, so I think that's why I swapped them out. But yeah, I do catch the Shuppet, it's not much of an issue. Ta da, we did it. So. Yeah, I did. I did uh, end up catching that, and uh, yeah, I think I think that the, the smart thing is to, to have the shepherd instead of the mischievous, because having a bandit is going to be better than having a miss uh, miss uh, Magius or mischievous. I wish it was Ma miss Magius. What did I end up naming this? I want to know. I used my phone for something. What was it? Core. Oh, I named her Coraline, because it's going to be like a doll. That's smart. I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm actually so smart and so clever. Sometimes, I, sometimes I'm actually legitimately surprised at how like clever I am. I'm like, wow, how did I think of that? I mean, that's not the most like clever thing ever, but it's other stuff that I think of. <laughs> Especially like when I'm half asleep, like, not half asleep, but like when it's like 3 o'clock in the morning and I think of the stupidest things. Sometimes I think of like the smartest things. Like, I don't know. Brains are crazy, but I, I'm gonna check out my bounty here. Check out what we got. So we actually have Pokemon in the PC now, and the big question arises: Do we add Swampert to the team? And the answer I end up going with is no. The reason being, for one, we're probably gonna add Dumbo to the team, which is a ground type, and Swampert's also a ground type. Our starter is a water type, which shares it with Swampert, and we use Swampert a lot. Um, like, we use Swampert in a majority of our series. Every time we get a Swampert, we use it. So, I'm like, I'd rather go with Tater Tots for the moment. As good as Swampert is, Swampert is basically like legendary status in my eyes. That's how good he is. But, um, I just think we should try to play a little bit more more with other Pokemon. So, I'm keeping the Crocodile on the team, leaving Swampert in the box. But, that does still leave me to always have a Swampert in the box if we need it. If anything happens to my my Feraligator, or if I feel like I need the power on my team, Swampert is there, and he's ready. So, that I like leaving us to have those options. I like that. That, that gives me a lot of um reassurance he's basically like a a backup plan he's always a backup plan like if if it, if we have like major a major battle where we lose a bunch of pokemon and we need to rebuild the team if i feel like swampert's gonna do us better than having a for alligator that's always an option he's a good core for a team so if i need to rebuild and i need a new core swampert's right there so i think he's gonna be great to just leave in the pc because we could have on the, on the team but i think honestly it's just gonna be better to have for alligator. And also, I've never used—I I haven't, or I've never—I've used for alligator before, but I haven't used for alligator since like silver. And I like using for alligator. You know, he's not—he's not the most common Pokemon. Like Swampert, I feel like I use him a ton. Like I used him in. What did I use him in? I feel like I use him in a lot of stuff, but I could be tripping. Here, I'm gonna pull up my my phone here and check out my videos. I check out what I used him in. Well, we used some battles here. Um, uh, well, I know I used him in... What did I use him in? Uh, I used him in the Soul Link a bunch, obviously, because every time I get him, I'm like, yes! Because um, Popper is hecka dope. And, um, yeah, so I used him in the Fire Red Leaf Green Soul Link. What else did I use him in? Did I use him in... Yeah, I used him in uh, Leaf Green. Leaf Green uh, Chain Monolock. I, just, I feel like I use him a lot. Even if I don't actually use him a lot, I feel like I use him a lot more than I actually do, I guess. But um, exciting, exciting as it is to 
have a Swampert, I think, better in the PC for the moment. Uh, it's crazy how Dilster MP4 is actually in the grand scheme of my channel. Not that far along, it's like four series back. But it feels like it was like a whole long while ago. I guess I just haven't done that many series. But we have a Water Stone, another one. Did we get a Water Stone last time or that Leaf Stone? Anyway, and we get an upgrade. So if we get a pour again, I guess we could use that, though I'm not quite sure. I might as well. I probably will sell it because the money might do us better than a Porygon 2 would. Being honest. We're gonna battle these guys. Damn, we're already 15 minutes in. Yes, time is flying when I just keep talking to myself about random stuff. Grumpig. Yeah, I'm sorry that I can't like be with you guys in the moment and like talk about my decisions of why I do each play and stuff, but I I hate this this post production stuff. I feel like it's just way it's not as superior content as just doing it in the moment. I feel like we lose a lot of the the video just doing all this because obviously we can't do intro moments because that's that would just that would be weird. I'd have to be like, oh my god, that's crazy. Like, uh, yeah, I can't do that. No intro moments, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's different. So that's why that's why I'm making different thumbnails and stuff. So I'm just kind of it's sort of like the the the, the triggered and twilted. twilted? Triggered and Tilted Trilogy, like I made different thumbnails, or a different thumbnail style for those episodes because they are different. And I do, I really like the idea, whoa, I stopped the, the audio for a second. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy and maybe, it, you know, tell me how you feel about this, but I like the idea of like storytelling through Nuzlocke. Like Nuzlocke kind of are like a little story. That's why like the Nuzlocke comic is so interesting to me because like, you know, they're the little stories, and they have arcs, and I think, <laughs> I want to do, eventually in, in the future, I want to do kind of like a Nuzlocke that has arcs. It has story, it has plot. I don't know how I would do that, but I want it to be a thing. I just, it, it's just like a thing in my brain that's like, that needs to happen. But it also makes me feel like that would have to be scripted in some way, shape, or form, but... Because you can't... You know, let luck make you have an arc. I mean, most of those likes do, but like some of those likes, it's just they're less interesting than other ones. So, you know, I feel like those likes inherently just have like arcs and they're fun to follow. It's like, oh, what's gonna happen next on the mystery? But that's only if you know they're actually difficult and things actually like die and stuff. Um, so, like Liquid Crystal is a good example of a series, uh, like a series that has arcs. Like I feel like. So much craziness happens in that series, so that's a good that's a good series to watch. I wish we could have finished it. I really want to play Liquid Crystal again, but I don't know if I will soon. I do have a plan for another game in the future, though. I I, I have a few plans and ideas, but we're gonna make it through this granite cave. Um, I was gonna use Flash, but <laughs> and I even taught it to someone, but then I totally forgot that uh, we can't use Flash until we get the gym badge. So, we kind of wasted a slot here on Wayla, but that's fine. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone has those days. Miley Cyrus taught me that. I learned more from Miley Cyrus than I probably did from the Bible. So, you know, just say with that what you will. Um, I should have beaten Dark Violet. Like, I, it triggers me so much that I have all these unfinished series on you know, my channel and stuff. It just bothers me so much, and it's- I hate losing. Like, I know I'm good at Nuzlocke's, but I just get so... Like, it just- it, it does bother me so much losing all these Nuzlocke's, because I know I can win. I just make dumb mistakes. And like, my- I've only won like four Nuzlocke's on my channel. But I've lost so many and it's so upsetting. And I've given up given up on a few and stuff. Like I I beat my first two. I'm just rambling, but I don't care. We're just gonna keep rambling. I beat my first two. And then Um Theta Emerald I gave up on because of like game issues. 
and I didn't feel like playing it anymore because like I only had one Pokemon left so I was like I'm okay I gave up and then let's see um, Kanto Black I lost my save file so there's right now there's two wins and then two like almost losses not not a full loss I didn't lose any series yet and then I lost Sapphire so that's that's two two one um one actual loss I'm, I'm just gonna count my series Moon Emerald I lost twice <laughs> so I was like okay I'm done so I, I could have kept going because I was only what three episodes four episodes in and I was like okay I'm done so that's two losses so two 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 light platinum I gave up on because of um, game issues so that's two wins three technical issues two losses for soul link we lost so that's <laughs> it's kind of makes it more difficult because I, I do keep track of the, the technical losses as well so that's two wins three technicals I should write this down but two three three okay and what uh, gold soul link that's two three four and then Let's see, what's next? Smeargle Challenge, I gave up on because it took long. I'm not gonna count that, that's not that's luck. This is the set of videos I did, so I'm not gonna count that. So then, Yellow Versus, I won the Yellow Versus, so that's three. Three, 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 four, three, three, four. And then, let's see what's next. Ruby, Sapphire, Soul Link, so. Three, three, five. I'm counting my series. I don't care if it's boring. Who cares? I got Poison Fang TM. That's dope. Um, I just lost count. Is it 235? No, 335. 335. And then... Um, and Silver started. So that's another loss. So... 336. 336. And then... Crystal versus I technically I won by technicality. I'm saying I win. So that's four three five. Four three five. Did I count the Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link yet? I'm gonna say I did. No, I didn't. I definitely didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, so four three seven? It's gonna be close. I don't care if it's exactly right. I'll, I don't care. So four three seven, and then leaf green. So that's five three seven, and then because I won that one, that was exciting to win. We lost fire leaf green. I'm going back to get the experience here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, um, five three eight, and then white doesn't count. Dark violet. So four four seven? No, five four seven. Five four seven. Five four seven. I'm close, I'm sure I'm close to the actual number, but five three seven. And then liquid crystal. So that puts me at five three eight. Five four eight. Five three eight. <laughs> I'm gonna say three. And then red seven twenty one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win. I'm gonna say I'm, I win that. So that'll be six, three seven, six three eight, eight. Sure. <laughs> and then I'm hoping I win this one. And then emerald versus I'm winning. So I'm gonna count that one. And co op. I'm. I, I guess we're gonna win that. I don't know if how we're doing that. So I have potential to to run even, not counting the series that I've, I've given up on with like technical stuff. So I guess I'm like 50-50 on win to loss, but I feel like I lose a lot more than I actually win. Because most of my wins are by, like, by, by technicality, like in the versus, the crystal versus, the, so I got the experience here, awesome. Crystal versus we, um, we stopped because, why did we stop actually? I guess Dilster just didn't want to do it anymore. And he's lazy, so that's why. So I won by technicality because I was much farther than he was. 
There's actually a, is a lost episode of um, of Crystal Versus because we never ended up editing it, and it was um, it ended with me and Tilster being really into an argument, and then we had an argument for like 40 minutes after the after we stopped recording the episode. This is me talking about what I want to do with the team. I add Fanfi to the team, and I add Shepard to the team. Though I don't think I say that in the episode, but um, I'm not gonna talk for the last minute. So, I'm just gonna thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave some love down below. That includes liking, commenting, subscribing, all those things are much appreciated. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I'll leave you be.